Hello and welcome back to another end up with a video. Today we're going to be taking a little different route here um, as there's not much going on in the US right now. Kind of a blank map, some scattered rain and snow showers. We're going to start looking forward and looking at the next system past this weekend and what the effects of the system may be. We're still waiting to see if Winter Farm Dane gets named. Um, we've probably had a few weeks here since Winter Storm Constance was named. So. Still kind of waiting for winters to ramp up here, but if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. So, here is the NAM 12 Commander model. We're going to use this today because the NAM 3 Commander model definitely isn't showing this storm as of yet. So, if we start clicking through here, we're going to see that we start getting some more thunderstorm activity here in Texas and Louisiana. Now, this starts to move toward the east, and we get more snow in behind this because we have more colder air there but then we get even more moisture getting drawn up and we get a pretty significant snow event in New Mexico and Texas now this low pressure forms and we start to get a significant snow event in the Great Lakes and the Appalachian Mountains now we're gonna switch over here to the GFS we're gonna do multiple viewpoints here because the GFS kind of takes this a little bit more of the rainy route until this low pressure moves through and we start to get that wrap around snow. The GFS has a very, very low total positive snow depth change here. Um, mostly one to three, some areas in that four to six range. Now, if we go to the Canadian model, we're going to see that they take this storm in a little bit of a different pathway, kind of showing it lingering around a little bit longer. Now, we're going to use the total snowfall. This is not as accurate, but it's close enough. And you can see, huge difference here. Uh, 10 to 12 inches across the board here in the Great Lakes. So, there's just a tale of two different stories with this storm. And at this point, you gotta pick which one's right at this point. Even the GFS, their total snowfall is still that four to six max. So very underplayed with this storm system. Now if we go to some other, I think we can go just a couple other models here, global models. Uh, we can't get snow totals from these, but then again, they're taking a lot of the same route here where the storm kind of lingers a bit in the Great Lakes region and that might rack up those snow totals as per the Canadian model and this would be significant and it would probably get named now we can also look into the future with this I'm not going to um, and what this means for the rest of this winter storm season because we've seen this path already a lot where we get this low pressure on the interior northeast side and the current jet stream kind of shows that that might be continuing through probably the next month or so which means that you have the higher population centers getting shunned out of the snow once again and this could be the second year in a row that we see less snowfall on the coastline so kind of just a little bit of a trend issue here now the 12 kilometer model right now has the low pressure in Virginia uh, this is about 7 a.m. on Monday but overall kind of looking like a significant rain event either way for the Northeast unless you get snow and then it's a significant snow event so we have to play the wait and see game with this um, the NAM 12 kilometer model we can get a pretty good just for um, this snow event in New Mexico and Texas and if there's even some accumulating snow in Texas that would probably deem this getting named so let's look at that you can see one to two inches in northern Texas uh, definitely not unheard of but definitely rare so we can see that there's probably a few areas in there at that three inch range, maybe some areas in the higher elevations getting four inches. Um, that's definitely enough to uh, 
get something named as we've seen in the past where some areas in the south get a dusting of snow it wreaks havoc and especially for this early in the season this might be enough to push this push the weather channel over the edge into naming this as winter storm dane obviously we have to take this with a little bit of a grain of salt because it is on monday that this is happening and this is the furthest out that the 12 kilometer goes and i would wait until the three kilometer comes in for this storm system but that's probably on sunday so we definitely have to watch the system how it develops and what the effects are on texas new mexico as well as the great lakes and northeast regions but that's all i have for today thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time